What's an insult you've heard that went to you far? I once heard a man fighting with the mother of his child. The kid was still a baby and her body hadn't gotten back to what it was before being pregnant. It was a pretty heated argument, with both the man and woman saying some shitty things. The woman threatened to leave him, and he said like anyone else would want you with your slop gut and your orangutan titties. She just went silent after that. Shit was 20 years ago and I still remember that. I told my 4 year old she's a wild woman. She responded with you're a wide woman. Group of girls I met whilst traveling after uni. One night at a party two of them got angry with each other for some reason and one shouted at a other well at least I have a clit. Turned out the other one had been born without a clitoris. Seemed really nasty after we found that out. Not one I heard, but one I read here on reddit on a post asking for the worst insult. I'm glad your daughter died before you had a chance to ruin her. Big. Fucking. Oofed. I heard a kid say to this other kid once after I finish with you. You will be in the same place where your mom is the thing is the other kid lost his mom a few weeks back to leukemia. In a heated argument, my sister said that her friend asked her why are your brother's friends so cute, but he's so fucking ugly? Fight finished. It's one of these thoughts that randomly come around again to keep me up at night. Hence commenting this at 3 a.m. I was like 10 or 11 at the time. This girl who used to bully me had an older brother and two adopted little siblings who went to the same school. One day, she said something like, now I understand why you have no friends, to which I replied, now I understand why your parents started adopting after having you. I was a prick, but she didn't bully me after that. I'm just here for inspiration. I used to hang out with a guy from my class in high school. He was pretty good with the ladies, and naturally I asked him for tips. Bro straight up told me you're ugly that's why they are not attracted to you. It was brutal and still hurts after 10 years. The fact that I am the least successful person in my friend's group when it comes to dating still makes me think back at that comment. I would rather guide my dad into my mum than ever date someone like you. You have no future at all. Teenagers say the most dreadful stuff to each other without realizing how extreme their words are. 10 years later. When I felt very insecure about the job market and all, it became even more painful to think back on this one. A kid made fun of me for my voice cracking, you have to wait for your balls to drop before you talk again. Huh. So in full view of the teacher I turned around and said shut up Bobby. Your parents are getting a divorce and it's all your fault. I knew his parents were getting a divorce. I didn't know he actually blamed himself. He cried until his mom came to pick him up. I was sent to the principal's office for a talking to. Never caught shit from them again. Oh one. My mom god should have made me infertile instead of having you told me as a 13 or old that I'm a prostitute, and I'm sleeping with my dad after I took his side in an argument. 2. A guy I liked you're like an emotionless doll you don't even feel sad when I'm with other girls. Had dinner guests who were just horrifically rude, friends of friends, nothing tasted good enough, the wine wasn't up to their standards, etc. Bitching about a free meal that I had put a good amount of effort into. When they sniped about the chocolate cake I had made I told them with your heads, so far up your ass, it's little wonder everything you eat is tinged with shit. They left shortly after and did not stick around for games. I have bipolar. I had just gotten out of hospital for a terrible psychotic manic episode. Was hating myself a lot. My boss said to me you were a better worker when you were sick. The most soul destroying thing you could say to someone with bipolar in my opinion. This was during my brasher days. Second year college. First day, I had put on little weight over summer. This one girlfriend of mine looked at me and said you have boobs now. I said him making up for you and your mom. They both are flat chested. Shouldn't have added the mom bit. Maybe not as much an insult as much as a roast which still stings to this day was working at a small local retail shop that does home deliveries. Get a call from this dude and for about 5 minutes whatever he asks it's either out of stock or just not available. So last he asks if there's any padlocks and after searching for a bit I am ecstatic to finally find one thing he needs. I inform him it's available. My guys without breaking a beat tells me to use it on the front door and cuts the line. If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. Has it occurred to you I don't respect you enough to give a shit about your opinion? I said this to someone I have known for 10 years when quite frustrated once and immediately felt bad.